The first time Hearthstone received quests was in Un'Goro. All of these quests had their own specific archetype. Some of them were very good. Other ones were completely horrible. And that was back in April 2017. So I wanted to see if it was still possible to win a game with each one of these quests currently in Hearthstone. To make this even more challenging, I can't just win with a quest. I not only have to add the quest to my deck, but I have to complete the quest, play the reward, and then win a game of Hearthstone while trying to win the game as much as possible with the quest reward. So is it still possible to win with these quests? Let's find out. So first things first, obviously we need the quest. The first quest on our list was Jungle Giants. This was the Druid one, which had the quest to summon five minions with five or more attack and the reward was Barnabas. Barnabas was a five minute eight eight that had the battle cry to reduce the cost of your minions in your deck to zero. Back in the days of Angoro, this quest was hyped up to be one of the better ones, but it turned out to be not so good. Even though the effect can be extremely powerful, warping your deck to have a very slow early game just wasn't in the cards for Druid at the time. So I had my work cut out for me with the Jungle Giants quest. So we definitely want that. I want that. I think that's fine. I actually need cards to play after you complete the quest though that is true i do like prince renathal i do like that so we will add the three mana three four into this i do like the 10 extra health and it actually might make a huge difference do we have a win condition is malagos just like actually like papega i don't know about mali yeah i'm i'm, I'm iffy on the malagos i'm gonna be honest after adding the second yog to my deck this was the first of many quests i would have to complete and the journey starts here oaken summons is an absolute keep it's too good in this deck i just have to not get prince renathal dude this hand is sick okay as long as i don't get ran over by whatever this Murloc Paladin boy is doing. We're chilling. What is your ramp? Just bio project? Yeah. All right. This is already an issue. I guess we have to do this. I guess we go for Yogg. Getting a second Yogg seems good. Next time we do this again, I'm looking for biology project because biology project would help a lot. But we obviously Oaken summons on four and hope we don't get Prince Runnafall. If we get Prince Runnafall, we're probably just conceding and moving on. That's really good with this card though. I mean, he's going, he's going. It's not the worst thing in the world though. Aquatic form. As you can see, this quest has a little bit of an issue against aggressive decks, but I was not going to let that deter me from winning this game. I guess we go branching paths. Just seems like the better player. Right? All right. We have not even progressed our quest. We're kind of screwed. Oh God. Oh, please stop. So what I said about 10 seconds ago actually wasn't the truth. I had a feeling we were already going to lose this and it looked like it was going to be the case as the mech paladin completely overran the board, but there's always next game. All right. Well, we're still chicken 10. We didn't even get close to finish our quest there, but it's okay. It's just the journey, right chat? All right. We don't want this. We have the coin this time. Maybe I just high go for biology project. We just have to not get aggro down like that. But if we can go innervate coin into Oaken summons on turn two, we're chilling. I think I'm hero powering and I'm going phase. All right, this guy's playing a slower deck chat. We actually have a real win condition here, even if it's with Yogg. Okay, we want not Prince Renathal. I think about Prince Renathal. I'll take it. Actually pretty good. Love to see it. Chat, we're, this is a dub, dude. I can already, I feel it. I don't think Omu's current. Wait, I can get my quest done right now, right? No, next turn. Next, okay. Ne oh, chat, do you guys see this? We do this. Next turn, we go Omu into Innervate. We get to play our big boy Barnabas, and then we get to Aquatic Form for a one mana minion. Unless we get super unlucky and it's all like spells, which I would be rather upset. Uh, this is a good turn. Going against a slower archetype is much better for this quest. We were able to complete it pretty early on and the following turns were pretty great. Omu, Innervate. We go to eight mana. We get big boy Barney. Get in here, Barney. All right, Barney's in. We then Aquatic Form to get only spells, and I'm absolutely tilted. Are you kidding me, dude? Oh, it's a tragedy, dude. Obviously, I think we're playing big boy rag. The question is, do I want to play Mr. Smite? How does he deal with this? Is he going to yog me? If he yogs me, I don't want to do this. So we're chilling. Oh, that doesn't seem very good. Yo, Battle Master would be nice, too. It's okay. We're going to, we're, we don't need to change the deck. This one's already, what's going on here? This has to be a Yong deck, right? It also scales him. Skills does a decent amount of damage. It also does quite a bit to his Wait, Is he dead? I think he might be dead. That's one done. Got the quest finished and we won the game. With the Druid one finished, we move on to the Mage quest, Open the Waygate. The quest for Open the Waygate is to cast eight spells that did not start in your deck and your reward is Time Warp, which enables you to have an extra turn. Open the Waygate was one of the better quests from Ungoro. Obviously, the reward is very powerful, but the deck that I ended up using for this was going to exploit that even further to get way more extra turns. Someone explain the win condition here. I don't understand it. Parrot? Yeah, but what is the parrot casting? 
anything. Like you just have a bunch of coins. Parrot recast your quest for infinite turns. Yo, we're playing this right now. Literally one of the best decks right now. Okay, cool. It turns out that this deck is actually really competitive and wild right now. So I would expect that this wouldn't be that much of a challenge. All right, I'm gonna have to use all my brain power here, chat. So my deepest apologies. Why is he playing the same deck as me? All right, we play the top deck one because we make makes him feel like an idiot. We don't need to cast this because next turn, I'm probably gonna go first flame onto this and then crap and then cast ice block so we can draw a bunch with multicaster. This is multicaster, almost guaranteed. A lot of coins. I just drew this card, right? Which means if I go coin, coin into something, my brain hurts, chat. Coin, coin. What do I want as the other card? Biscuit, I guess? This goes to seven. I don't know what that really did for me, but it did something, I think. Is there another Naga in my deck? Doesn't look like it, so I'll just get out of the way. Because my opponent was also playing the same kind of deck, this basically came down to who can complete their quest first, because usually the person that completes it first wins the game. No way you're playing a cringe meta deck in wild. The rare and I knew has died. I feel awful. Why'd you say that? <laughs> That's so mean. I need to draw this parrot. All right, there's the big, there's the parrot. I can cast it to get the quest next turn, so I guess I do it. Next turn, I go quest into the parrot, into Potion of Illusion? This is Ice Block, obviously. You're Turbo Dad. What you're about to see is honestly one of the most disgusting things that you can this also do in Wild deck, Hearthstone, right? and I'm sorry for anyone that I have offended for playing this deck. Okay, so it's attack, attack. I'm gonna cast this first in case it's Counterspell. It's not Counterspell Pog. We then play this. We get an extra turn. He's tilted. This, 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 this. I believe that gives me two turns. We then get our extra turn. We do this like a good player. We then do this to tilt him even further to get another parrot. <laughs> uh, I guess that it, actually, if you need to get that quest done of taking turns, this is really good chat because I just got like five turns in a row right there. I could have ended my turn two more times and it would have been good. All right, that's two out of the nine done. Let's go. We were able to complete the mage one in one game, which means we can move on to our next quest, which is the warrior one fire plumes heart. This quest required you to play seven top minions and your reward was sulfurous, which gave you a four two weapon, but also transformed your hero power into Ragnaros's ability. This quest was pretty good back in the day. It was more of an attrition style deck, but it was a pretty good quest at the time. So I didn't expect this to be that hard. Scrapsmith. Okay, what is scrap? What, what is this good? Wait, that's not the card. <laughs> I'm so stupid. I, I don't chat. If you guys did not know, I'm five years old. Thanks for watching. Shield Shatter package. Shield Shatter is actually good. I will take Shield Shatter actually. I like that a lot. I don't really need draw though. I just need to play a taunt minion every turn. I don't know about this card either, but we'll try it. With the amount of good taunt minions that they've added over the years, I expected this deck to do extremely well, and I would probably assume that I would be able to do this in one game. All right, I got. I just gotta hope I draw two. I mean, I'm not against his armoring up, but okay. Um, maybe I play the Eternium over here. It's worse for me to play the quest next turn if I draw a two drop. So maybe I just do Eternium Rover first, play the quest next turn. I'm gonna play this. All right, so it's Mech Paladin. So Mech Paladin is just a bad matchup for us in general, which is on, oh, you shitter. What is the mana cost of the things that he summons? Is it one mana or two mana? Literally same, there are three? Oh, this card's hot garbage. Why did I put this in my deck? I don't want that. I got scammed. Does it matter dead in two turns? Come on. As I was wondering to myself whether or not Scrap Smith was worth a slot in this deck, it looks like I'm doing extremely well with Warrior as expected, and hopefully the game will continue like this. All right, in this case, I kind of like this a little bit more. I'm playing off curve though, and it actually pisses me off, but I think it's better for tempo wise. Again, I, my win condition is just getting to my hero power at this point. So this could be Zilliax right now. I hate this. Let me see what these little, wait, where's the card? Oh my God, what are those? Oh my God, what is my hand? Should have added bolster. I mean, if I knew I was playing this, yeah, you're hundred percent right. All right, they actually pulled through chat. I actually pulled through. Okay, how do I want to do the trades? This hits here, this goes here, this hits this. Wait, I'm throwing for content. I'm so bad, I'm throwing for content. No one saw that, that was- Daddy, chill. That was the wrong sound. <laughs> I'm so 
so bad at our stone, dude. I'm actually so trapped. Just for the record, in case anyone is curious, even though on my license, it says completely different. I am five years old. All right, just because I want the hero power to hit face, we will be doing it like this. And I know it looks cringe. So we hit this, we trade. Oh, oh, dude, oh, chat, are you guys seeing this? They never see it coming. It does so much damage. Oh, it's so beautiful. He's dead. This dude just, this thing just won the game. Dude, I don't know how I feel about that. And you didn't believe, I know. The warrior quest only needing one game. We then move on to the shaman quest, unite the murlocs. This has you summon 10 murlocs and your reward is Megafin, which is a five minute eight, eight murloc that fills your hand with random murlocs. Now back in the day, this quest wasn't horrible, but it definitely was limited with the amount of good murlocs in the game. And with the addition of some great murlocs added into the game, I have a feeling that this quest isn't going to be as bad as I think it was, but I still think it's going to be pretty challenging. Two mana draw, two Murlocs seems pretty good. This card seems good. I'll put one in. I don't know if it's actually good enough, but we'll put one in for this for the sake of it. I do think that card's pretty good. Maybe one blue girl warrior for the sake of it. Crab Rider could also be good. Okay, I'm kind of down for one. I'll put one of these in too. Okay, two devolve always. All right, I'm, I'm kind of down for two devolves. Okay, we'll try this. I'm not sure if this is going to be good enough, but we'll come back. The biggest problem about this quest is actually completing it. I'm not too worried about winning a game with Murlocs. I'm more worried about completing Completing the quest and then winning a game with Murlocs. Clownfish has to be good. Oh, oh, it, okay, okay, okay. I respect it. I hate you. I want to concede. Where's the draw? There is, dude. You got, you say, what's the draw after seeing three cards in my deck? What do you mean, where's the draw? Maybe I just go all in. It doesn't actually matter because I have to complete the quest. I'm just going to full clear the whole game now. He has to kill two Murlocs here. Otherwise, I, I at least get everything, which is pretty decent. Don't have a second one of those. He has a second one of those. All right, we're upset. <laughs> Dude, we're so screwed. So as you can see, this quest does take a very long time to complete, but just because we lost one game doesn't mean we're going to lose all the games, right? We have actually Murlocs this time and we have the coin. I don't think I want two of those, but I will take two. I'll take this one because at least I can freeze their face. This is actually pretty decent. Right, he's playing a Prince Runoff all back. He has Cthulhu the Shattered. This might be an easier game than average because he's running whatever deck this is. I could just be saying that. Why are you running patch? Is this worth playing? Uh, I'm kind of dying. Hit this here, kill the patches and I have a 1-3 on board. Sure. Ah, it's actually really good. Unfortunate, but... At least we still have this dude alive so we can play this. Is a second Murkai better than just getting Tiny Finn? Tiny Finn gives me a guaranteed proc on this next turn, but I can also do it with these two next turn. So I kind of like the Murkai. Why aren't you running Tiny Finn, by the way? Uh, I just don't think it's good enough, if I'm being honest. All right, we'll play the top deck one to tilt him. Really good card. Really good card. Really good card. This guy AFK, don't AFK. It this doesn't count. Oh my God, I can't have a, someone AFK. Unfortunately, because he did AFK, I didn't feel like this was a very fair game to complete the quest, so I conceded and moved on. Unfortunate, but it's just the way it is. Might take me eight years to complete. Unite the Murlocs into Ice Fishing and the Clownfish. Angler, Angler, wow. Okay, he's not Quest Mage. Ooh, that's pretty good. Okay, we'll, we'll try it. This thing still lives. That's actually ginormous. Wow, that's so much stuff. Two more Morlocks, right? Spell would be really nice. Okay, perfect. They're all so bad. I guess we'll do this. I have to go face. I have to do some damage. Destroy a full minion and return to life is kind of interesting. For old Murkai for more stats, I guess. Isn't that the life of a Murloc? <laughs> Flame strike at the current year. Yeah, I'm getting not a lot of Murlocs from this. I don't know if that was a good play, but it's an 8 8. Okay, I like that, dude. Munis is sick for next turn. I got the quest completed. Now I just need my opponent not to AFK. Do I eat anything? I played it. I did play the quest. Rare beating up free to play players and being confused about their bad deck. That's what they want you to think. See, that's that's where you and me differ. They're not free to play players. They're just pretending to be for the sake of me being confused. Um, If I can kill him this turn, this this is a uh, four damage. Oh, 
I don't know what I just went against, but it doesn't matter. We got it done. That's one more. It's gone. With Unite the Murlocs finally finished, we move on to arguably the strongest quest, which was the Caverns Below. This one was for Rogue, and it had you play four minions with the same name, and your reward was the Crystal Core. The Crystal Core is really powerful because for the rest of the game, your minions are five fives, which makes a lot of these really cheap minions very strong. I was expecting to finish this in one game. This seems good. Like, I don't know what you guys are talking talking about it seems fun right that draws a pirate is useful no i don't want that we have two raiding parties i'm looking out with boars yeah i'm thinking about tonwa i think tonwa is correct okay we can always change this after it's not like one or done if we get this done that's halfway finished chat has them predicted at the moment but we arguably still have the two hardest quests in the game the the paladin one is going to take me five years to do probably i think i want this card in my opening hand so the question is do i dagger i could do this into this and i think that's probably okay i just want the minions in my hand right it may look ridiculous but i think this is actually correct Damn! I guess I swindle? Oh wait, I have all the cards I need, right? Okay, here's the play chat. They don't have any way to disrupt my quest and we win. Demon Hunter dummy. Demon Hunter does not have a quest for Ungoro. Wait, oh, no way you snipe this. No way, shut up. Okay, it's fine, I'm upset. How did he have an answer for that? Who runs this car? Who runs Cinderstorm? It's like the perfect thing against my deck. This start that I had in this game was phenomenal. I was able to get my quest finish on curve, which means that this mage is in for a world of trouble. All right, we're definitely playing this. I can just get the five damage now and force him to answer. We're one turn off flame strike, which is good because we have the boar. The boar's 10 on his own. I mean, they're dead if they can't clear. Like, they need to clear. Tonmu and Boar is 10 damage on its own, plus Dagger's 11. They need to kill two minions here, and they're alive. I could actually do a lot of damage here. Uh, da, 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 da. So we attack with this one first in case it is the one that does three damage to everything. That one. They need their swain for their three wins as quest mage. Please don't do this. Bro, they're not even playing quest mage. That is five done, dude. Now we do have a slight issue here, chat. I don't have enough dust to craft another one. So we're going to open two Ungoro packs in the hope that we actually are able to get a quest. Now, if not, I will probably disenchant some stuff. Every quest is going to be in these two packs. Oh, well, you hate to see that. That's just unfortunate. Well, I'm just upset. After disenchanting some cards, I finally had enough dust to craft the next quest, which was the last Kaleidosaur. This is considered one of the worst quests released in Angoro, where you have to cast six spells on your minions and your reward is Galvadon. Galvadon is a five and a five five with a battle cry to adapt five times. And if you can't tell, that's not a very good win condition. So I had a feeling that this one was going to take the longest. I got to complete the quest and play the card and win a game. I have a feeling that this one's going to take me a lot longer. The last Kaleidoscope. Go with Lebrums? Okay. I do like Holy Mackerel. I think Holy Mackerel is really good. I'm going to play the cast of spells. Uh, what's her name? Lady? Maybe we cut one of these then. I'd rather have a second Bannerman, I think. We might be here for a while, if I'm being honest. But we're going to try our best. If I can do this in one game, you have no idea how great that will be for me. It will make my life so much easier. All right, we're looking for Lebrums. Odd Warrior. Okay, we have Librams. I cannot emphasize enough that putting the last Kaleidosaur in a Librum deck was one of the best ideas my chat came up with when doing this challenge. I honestly think that it made this quest so much easier to complete. But winning a game is a different story. You hear probably like this, coin, coin, into these two. That's probably the play. I don't know what this deck is capable of, man. Hey, Brim's also good. Alder Peacekeeper's good. Yeah, so we're we just have to find the Librams, right? I just have to think about how I'm going to win. Oh, he's going. F oh, it's going to be like, are you seriously not trading? Still not really what I need, but this is definitely the play only mackerel i can actually get the the boy done next turn so i want to i want to bait a brawl here right i don't think i'm gonna win there he is boys the legend all right if we can play the collide or galvadon and win God, what a miracle that would be. The Audrin is a win condition, though, with Mr. Smite, right? That means they'll do four damage per hero power, but it also means that we kind of just roll them. I like to get an extra Galadon. Now you're beaming too hard, I think. All right, do I play this? I mean, sure. There's no way he runs Brawl for him. Elf. Win Fury. Free attack. Elf until your next turn. Find shield. 
Go brawl me. Please don't brawl me. If you brawl me, let the get the let the dinosaur win. Let he's extinct. Just let him win. All right, he traded first. That's actually ginormous. Oh, I should have put Bran. He did not. He didn't do the thing. Is he dead? Is he swinging? Yo, swing, swing. You won't. How much damage is this? As I start to calculate if I have enough damage for lethal, all that's on my mind is just winning this game to get it over with. I didn't draw any Librams, which is very unfortunate for what I want to do here. So I'm gonna hope that this draws me a Libram because it actually makes the breakpoint. Let's. All right, please let me win. You didn't brawl last turn. There's no way you have brawl here. If you brawl, let my dino live. He was just recently featured in Jurassic World. If I top deck Mr. Spite, it's also lethal. That's my phone. Please, if we, did we just do this in one try? Please don't brawl me. Oh my God, it's sweet. It's, I don't know why this wasn't so. Let's go. Oh my God, it's over. Surprisingly, the last Kaleidosaur only took me one game and I am forever thankful to Yogg for making my life extremely easy. But little did I know that the next quest was gonna be far worse. Lakari sacrifice is the Warlock quest. Your objective is to discard six cards and you get the Nether Portal. The Nether Portal is a five mana spell that opens a portal on your board where at the end of your turn, you summon two, three, two imps. This in theory sounds good, but my God, it is awful. Obviously, we have to go for discard. Why isn't Soulfire here? Oh, this is standard. Imp's good, Slam's good, Soulfire's good. Cataclysm, that's really good, actually. This is good. You put Dark Bomb in, just for extra damage. I don't like doing Soul. All right, I feel like this one's gonna be really hard too. At this point, I have no idea anymore. I think the Silver Red Golem for the keep, but I'm not a huge fan of the Matron. Okay, perfect. Just what I needed, a non-discard card. You're never gonna win with this class? Listen, it's gonna happen. Even if it takes me five years. I don't know what he's playing. He's playing Shutterwalk. <gasps> Wait a minute. Oh, that's unfortunate. All right. What an insane hand. All right, please let me play this. This is actually winnable. <gasps> Doom Guard's also insane. Wow, Cataclysm was so good. Completing the quest on curve gave me the best opportunity to actually win a game, but soon you will see why this quest is unfortunately not very good. Dude, if he snowfalls guarding me, I'm gonna be so tilted. I mean, it doesn't matter because if he, if he goes like... What's nine mana? Am I getting Shutterwalks? What are you doing? What's happening? Oh, I hate that. I hate that I have to do this, but it, it has to be correct. Gonna tap first, I guess. This button. Okay, don't have the freaking parrot. I swear to God. Okay, not dead actually. Not dead, but dead. All right, that's the battle cry gone. Oh, mama mia, dude. We can't win that one. We can't. The problem with the win condition of this quest is that it's board based. And because it's board based, it's a lot harder to actually win a game with it because you have to build your deck around discarding your cards. It could be a lot worse, to be honest with you. It could be insanely worse. This is fine. He's playing this deck. I hate his guts, actually. How you doing, buddy? You all right? Where's your brother? Oh. Okay, I don't know what he's doing. He's uh, stepping. I lose. I, I had a good hand, but I, I, I just lose the next turn. He just plays all four minions and then he, he rolls me. Dude, this is gonna take me so long. Okay, Shaman again. Bro, I swear to God. What are you doing, Ryan? Crying my eyes out. He's playing Prince Renathal. Actually not good for me whatsoever. How can I make this deck better, chat? Playing a different quest, probably. I think I just go coin into this, right? I get to miss the quest by one turn, but I think it's fine. Okay, that's good. Don't be the stupid. No, it's the freaking deck again. Sir dominance by discarding the quest reward. I, I could just lose, right? I can't. It's okay. Hold on. Not really sure what that is. Wait, what's happening here? I have to play this. I'm not not playing this. I refuse to not do that. Hello, sweet G. Oh God. Oh God. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Okay. We play this. Wait, maybe I get infinite dino answers, right? Cause I discarded one. Okay. I discarded one infinite dinos. I think his play might be a tad stronger. That's fine. I'm really sad that I lose um, doom guard here, but it is what it is, right? The turn tables. Don't call it a comeback chat. Don't you, don't you dare snowfall guardian me. Don't you dare. Okay, we're chilling. We're actually going to win. The shaman skin looks like it should be a mage skin. Ah, look who it is. Mr. Walk. Wait, he didn't bounce it back to his hand though. That's a lot of, that's a lot of, oh wait, I see what he's doing. I see, I see what he's doing. That's a good card. Okay. Oh my God, please, please. Just one, one time. Let me win. Please get me out of this game. You suck. I hate you. Okay, that's not the worst thing. Okay, it's fine. <laughs> please, dude. 
my face. You just hit his fucking face. <laughs> Let me win. Get me out. <laughs> that has to be lethal. No, that's in 1919. Oh my God, that's why is that so big? Dude, this is a tragedy. That loss hurt me more than you will ever know. And after that loss, I continuously lost matches again and again. I got my quest counterspelled by a mage. Cool thing about Discard Warlock is that you discard your will to continue playing. I got absolutely rolled by a mech mage. I, I burned the one game where Defile is actually probably good and I burned it. That's it. That's the game. But I still did not give up hope. At some point, I had to be able to win with this deck. Could have got a Drain Soul. The Drain Soul hasn't been really good, so we'll do this. I mean, Leroy just off the top might be good. Oh, God, we're going against John Cena. Okay, we have Cataclysm opening hand. I, want, I don't want to burn so far. Stealth <laughs> Drain. Jade Idol. I, I would play this, but I mean, if I discard Cataclysm, like my entire game plan's out of the way, right? Like it's gone. No, not power overwhelming. Oh my God, this is a tragedy. Okay, this John Cena, thank you so much for tossing it. I don't know what this is. I don't know what he's, what his motive is. Maybe he just put 30 cards together. But at this point, Chad, I do not care. I want to win this game. What is he doing? This has to be some kind of aggro deck, right? Oh God, that's actually kind of spooky. That's a lot of mana. All right, let's not discard good cards here. Excellent. Exactly what I wanted. What is this guy playing, dude? I don't know what he's playing. It's like it's Jade Tauncher. Okay, I don't know what that is, but hopefully we have enough. Oh, they're playing Hadronox. Okay, keeping Defile is actually probably OP. I, if I could send all this damage face, it's ginormous. If I literally can't win this game, I'm you're going to hear some words out of my mouth that shh, I'm going to get banned on Twitch. Uh, Do I just double three five here? I don't want to use Leroy. It doesn't feel necessary. Obviously, the ship's face. I think double three five is fine. He's dead. Oh my God, we did it. We did it. It's over. Oh, it's over. I never have to see this stupid quest ever again. With Lakari's sacrifice finally out of the way, we only have two more quests to go. I decided to buy 15 packs to see if I was able to get any of the quests. You know what, Goro bundles in 2022? Any legendaries? Hello? Please. Okay, no, no, stop. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Please quest. Pog! We can at least craft a quest because I'm not going to play that card ever. With enough dust to finally craft another quest, I decided to get the priest one out of the way, which is Awaken the Makers. This quest had you summon seven death rattle minions and your reward was Amara. Amara was a five minute eight eight with taunt with the battle cry to set your hero's health to 40. Basically Prince Redithal before it was cool. This quest was pretty decent at the time and with the help of Raza Priest, this should be a pretty easy victory and hopefully getting me one step closer to finishing my goal. All right, this should be okay. I, I don't think this one's going to be very hard. Like, I feel like this is going to be like arguably a one shot thing. Pretty great hand, if I'm being honest. I'm just going to full keep this. Everyone who's over the five years of age never makes mistakes. That's just how it works. Ah, damn it. That's why I suck. Okay, uh, I could kind of get down the sickness on light bomb. I'm not 100% sure how good that actually is, though. Can we kill this? We can't kill this. I can silence it. So I'm kind of down for the silence, I guess, right? Like, we can silence this, kill it. We have light bomb anyways. Okay. I want to play Mida. Okay. There's my quest. Quest is run fall minus 10 cards. <laughs> you shut your mouth. OK, I don't even know what the rules would have been. I, I technically didn't play it, so I guess I would have had to uh, restart. I can also take a dragon from him. Wow, Flint Trick is so good. Wow, that sucks for you, dude. Oh, I didn't test. Didn't I? I thought I tested it for last turn. OK, that also works. It's fine. Wow, I'd be really upset if I was that guy. This game is pretty self-explanatory. If you've ever played Raza Priest before, basically had to find Shadow Reaper Anduin, which was the bottom card in my deck. Finally, play Shadow Reaper Anduin, kill my opponent. And that was the priest quest already done. One more chat until we're finally done. The very last quest was the Marsh Queen. This quest had you play seven one cost minions and your reward was Queen Carnassa. Queen Carnassa is a five minute AA 
that had the battle cry to shuffle 15 raptors into your deck and every raptor is a one minute three two which had the battle cry to draw a card when the quests were first revealed a lot of people predicted this quest to be pretty great but it turned out to be pretty lackluster and for the final quest i'm not gonna lie i was kind of worried for how long this was gonna take me but i was very optimistic knowing that this is the very last one i really don't like peasant because the problem with peasant is gonna i gotta play quest turn one i like tundra rhino too tundra rhino seems really strong all right i think this is the deck he's not i don't know what deck this okay this hand man i, I wonder if i i think i'd probably do this okay if i never if he can never kill his dude okay this is a really good hand i need to kind of do this in a way where he doesn't just roll me but i think i always just get rolled he just kills this yeah i should have spread the wall oh, okay hold on he well played me i think this is uh something i don't want to see ever again okay i need to get a bunch of one drops here if possible Waffle Tinger is good. I like Firefly more because Firefly actually gets me the ability to play more one drops. Okay, we're doing damage. We're doing things. I don't need to play one of the Raptors. I just need to complete the quest. Oh God, that is, that is the worst thing I've ever seen. I don't care, I'm out. After a disappointing Warlock top deck that I did not get mad about at all, we moved on very fast to our next game in order to finally finish this journey and we went against a priest. I don't know how long this is gonna take me. Maybe I should look for Starving Buzzard. At what point do I just concede until I get a matchup I think I can win chat? What do you guys think? I could draw another one drop, that'd be sick. One drop, one drop, one drop, that's a beast. Oh. Actually insane. Actually like the turbo nuts. It's so much draw. It's so much draw. Thank God. Thank you. Oh, into a second one. Thank you. It's still a ton of damage. I'm just probably going to get the kill command out of the way. I might just get Renoed, and if it's Reno, it's going to suck. But he did play two palm readings, and he did play two shadow visions, so it's unlikely. Okay, big. Oh, 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 oh. Wow, Leroy is really interesting. I have to still play Queen. By trade, I can get two more minions down. I should have played this first. I grieved, but it's okay. Okay, that's Queen. Dude, I'm so nervous. Oh my God, I just want this over with. Queen Karnasa and Tundra Rhino is actually a lot of damage. I should have put the, uh, what is this? Oh, sweet Jesus. That's not good. That's not good. That's not good. That's not good. It's actually not the worst thing in the world because he only gets the summon Vargoths. It's, it could be so much worse. Woo! Let's go, dude! God, it could have been so much worse. No demon hunter, shut up. <laughs> Oh my God. And I get to take a splash. Thank you so much for taking the time to go on this journey with me. If you ended up enjoying make sure you subscribe and check out the Twitch stream. The link is in the description down below. I'll see you guys in the next one.